Alright, I thought I'd do a little Streets of Rage 4 today. Uh, I'm still getting comments about <laughs> when the patch is coming. I, I, I do not know. I didn't make the game, unfortunately. I did have my fair share of input on this patch. I do have connections with the developers because I was also a beta tester on their last game, Streets of Fury EX, but last I heard, uh, they posted something on their Twitter saying that they'd announce something soon. Uh, I don't know what exactly is taking that long. I know that console certification is a nightmare and they're trying to get it on every single console and platform at once, which I can see making things complicated, especially since this game is on uh, more platforms than others, especially with Game Pass and stuff. So I don't know what's going on there, but I figured I'd do a little gameplay today to tide you guys over. I've been getting a lot of <laughs> comments about it and it's not really something that I can, uh, I can control, unfortunately. the first two levels on hard mode for today. <clears throat> they also announced that they are going to make more DLC for this, they just don't know when. They don't know what or when. Which makes sense, this game is not like a, uh, Triple A game, you know, they didn't have a massive team of people working on this. It was only made by a few people, at least by today's standards. You know, it's not like Avengers or Assassin's Creed or something, there's like 300 people working on it. So it makes sense for them to keep supporting this game because they can't crap out another game super fast. still want them to just make it so everybody can run. I don't like playing as the other characters, they're too slow. But that's a topic that's been discussed to death at this point. They had their reasons for doing it, I don't agree with it, but it seems like they're gonna keep it that way. I would not be surprised if they do add more characters, that they just make them able to, to run and dash out of the gate. <laughs> Is that all the... All the people that don't want you to be fast and have fun and be responsive can still have their original characters, but then they can add more characters with the playstyles that people seem to actually want. Which is a shame, is I really like the other characters' movesets. They just aren't fun to play to me because they're too slow. I don't really like playing slow, char slow unresponsive characters in anything. The suggestion I made back when the patch came out was to like make it so you could uh, maybe choose to have it on or off. Like if they actually bother to make the new animation frames, just choose to have it on or off. I think that would be pretty awesome. That would be the best of both worlds. Pretty sure, uh, you know, they do have that concept art. Some of those characters look cool. Like that martial arts guy looks like the perfect character for me. I could see him having like more of an aerial focus, or like dashing or something. 
That would probably be the best way to fix the, the complaints people have with this game. Is either just let let you uh, have some kind of control or toggle over whether they can dash or run. And then... Or just making, uh, you know, characters that suit that playstyle. But, I really like most of the movesets in this game. And it's just kind of a shame that they don't really vibe with me because... I don't like playing slow characters. I don't think I've ever liked playing slow characters and beat em ups. <laughs> I can't think of a single time I've really liked it. There are some times like, like Max in Shoot Your Rage 2 where he's actually like the best character to play Mania with. He's actually like, ironically, one of the fastest characters because of Thunder Tackle. <laughs> but other than that, slow characters and beat em ups generally aren't that great. This game is kind of a, a mixed bag in that because Blaze has that really easy infinite. She has pretty generous hitboxes. But even though she's slow as molasses, she actually can control the enemies quite well. And at least on the, the, the public patch right now, she can <laughs> infinite pretty much any boss in the game. This game's kind of unique in that regard, but in a lot of other beat-em-ups, the slow characters generally aren't that great. actually one of my favorite tracks in this game. I like how um, ambient the music is in this game, too. Some people don't like this soundtrack. I actually think the, the new guy did a pretty good job. I do wish Koshiro had composed more tracks and uh, Kawashima, but I think it's kind of this game's kind of like a passing of the torch thing. Tell I haven't played this in a while. <laughs> I've been kind of waiting for the patch, too, even though I've, I've had access to it for months. So I can actually play with you guys and stuff.
I also really like how this game does difficulty. There's no HP sponge uh, difficulties in this game, <laughs> which is nice. I think beat 'em ups actually are some of the some of the genres that suffer the most when difficulty setting is meant mostly just the main difference is giving them like triple the health. Beat 'em ups have always had a couple common things that always destroy the pacing. I've gone over this before at length, but things like you know the enemies being being able to go into the shadow realm and just stay there. <laughs> Still, like, miraculously put a hitbox inbounds and hit you and knock you away and just repeat it, and then, like, not being able to interact with them, like, on the ground with an OTG. Those things really slow down the genre, but then when you when you factor in, like, giving them, like, double health, <laughs> unless it's something like, you know, Max in Future Rage 2 Mania, where he does enough damage to kind of offset that, it can make the game really slow and boring. I like that they just, you know, they doubled the enemies, which is something that's always fun. Most of the time, anyway. <laughs> and they didn't give them more health, they just make them attack more. I really appreciate that, as somebody who's been gaming for so long, and I've played my fair share of bad <laughs> difficulty levels in games. As much as I love Assault Spy, that game is kind of uh, guilty of doing that, too. Because they give them so much guard bar on the final difficulty, but like basically uh, the guard crush mechanic doesn't function anymore. And I feel like that's definitely one of the worst applications of a harder difficulty when you can't use mechanics anymore. <laughs> it's like, sure, you can make it harder. You can give them maybe like maybe 15 or 20% more health, but don't, don't like double it and make it so that the things I learned on the original difficulty don't work anymore. That's really boring to me. Pretty clean though. Nice. Like I said, this game does a lot right. I, I think you guys will be more satisfied with it overall. Uh, once the patch is out, it, it fixes the majority of my issues with the game. Uh, there are some things I, I still don't like, which I already mentioned, which is mostly just the, the lack of defensive options. But I feel like if they're actually going to include new characters, um, you know, the bosses, I'd say maybe they have like half, maybe 40 to 50% of the animation frames they need. It's very possible that they might try to expand the mechanics with characters. That, that's definitely how, how some games do it. Uh, you may remember Dynasty Warrior 7. Uh, a lot of the weapons in that game, the gimmicks weren't really that interesting, or they didn't really have that much of a practical use. Uh, that kind of continued into Dynasty Warriors 8 as well. There definitely were some, some weapons in that game, despite everybody being unique, they weren't really that fun to use because the gimmicks didn't have much of a practical application. They didn't actually really help you to fight the enemies and stay consistent. But when they started doing the DLC weapons, they started experimenting with more unique mechanics, like the boomerang had the switch attack, and the uh, the extensions with the square button, and then the, the Sabaton said the aerial gimmick and the aerial switch attack and stuff. I would not be surprised if that happens here. You know, they can always leave the, the current characters as they are, but they can make new characters, be it the bosses or completely original ones, like some of the ones in the concept are here. Yeah, show them off really quick. Like this guy looks pretty damn cool. <laughs> and her with the uh, the skates. I, I heard I heard that she was. Uh, this is the original design for Cherry. And I think this guy would be pretty awesome to play, especially that like Tokusatsu hero kind of design he has there there on the farthest right. <laughs> uh, maybe they're just going to add characters like him that have like dashes and parries and, 
and dodges and stuff. I think that would probably be the best way to do it. There are still a lot of purists who play this game who don't want the game to be responsive and fast for whatever reason. I'm <laughs> I'm in my 30s, you know, I, I didn't grow up with the Genesis, but I did grow up with beat 'em ups and I did play the first three games a lot at friends' houses growing up, so I, I grew up with these games just as much as anybody else, despite not uh, actually having a Genesis at home growing up. So I, I, I definitely welcome change in beat em ups. I feel like there's been a lot of things uh, plaguing the genre that just aren't fun for many decades now, like 30 years. And this game, despite what you may think about the, the final product, it actually did make an honest effort at improving a lot of the things that are really obnoxious about the genre, like, uh, you know, having boundaries, or, uh, making the the game make a boundary across every combat room or fight so that uh, the enemies can't go out of bounds. Having a pickup button is huge, too. Uh, it's always been one of the worst things in beat-em-ups when you're fighting on top of a meat or something and uh, you're at, like, 80% health, and then suddenly... You can't attack anymore. <laughs> you can only use like context sensitive attacks like dash attacks if the game has it or something, or like your super joy, but you can't do anything else. <laughs> and this game fixed that too. That's been a, a lifelong, a genre long problem. Uh, if you've ever played Alien vs. Predator, that game is the epitome of that issue. Like, uh, once you get to the, the second half of the game where you're mostly fighting the, uh, the military, uh, they drop weapons and suddenly the ground is just full of, of just dead sprites of weapons and you can't use your melee attacks anymore. I've always said that like the, the second half of Alien vs. Predator kind of falls apart because you can't really use your melee attack button anymore because there's so many guns and knives on the ground. It kind of becomes more like a, a shooter, <laughs> which is unique in its own right, but it's still not fun to really have the, maybe like 80% of your moveset blocked out. I like that that was fixed, and I like that they have OTGs too. It's just uh, the lack of defensive options is what really bothers me about this game. I'm curious to see what direction are going to take from here on out? I think that this guy in particular looks pretty cool. They could obviously really use him. Uh, and you have obvious ones like... No, they're not in here for some reason. But the, the bosses, like Shiva, Estelle, and things like that, they could pretty easily make them playable. They would only need a little bit more animation. Uh, I'm interested to see where things go, but I just thought I'd update you guys that uh, there's no information coming my way that you guys don't have. They haven't told me anything either. Uh, I assume it will be before the end of the year. I would hope it's sooner than later, maybe this month or something. But uh, last thing they said was that uh, they put out that tweet saying that they are going to be making new content for this game. They just don't know what or when. And then someone replied in that thread uh, asking when the patch was coming, and they basically said that you'll hear something about it soon, and that was like a week or two ago, so who knows? <laughs> uh, I know I've been playing a lot of KOF All-Stars lately, uh, that's kind of just been my, my service game while nothing is going on, but I think I'll put up some more gameplay of this uh, probably within the next few weeks or something, since this is going to be a pretty dry and inexpensive month to run the channel, all things considered, uh, even if I do decide to buy Avengers. So if you guys have anything you'd like to see from this patch while we're in this kind of like limbo in the community, uh, not knowing when it's coming, we know that it is coming, but we don't know when, go ahead and let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching.